National Geographic Kids Albert Einstein Who was Albert Einstein? Albert Einstein was a scientist. He came up with new ideas about time and space. He formed new theories about how the universe works. Einstein's ideas made him famous and changed what people thought about the universe. His ideas also led to new types of science. Because of this, people called Einstein a genius, genius. His ideas are still important today. Word to know. Theory, an idea that is used to predict or explain something. In his own words. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Albert Einstein's Office Growing up in Germany Albert Einstein was born in Ulm, Germany, on March 14, 1879. His father, Hermann, was a businessman. His mother, Pauline, loved music. She passed this love on to Einstein and younger sister, Maya, Mya. When Einstein was born, his mother worried because his head was large. He looked different from other babies. And then, he didn't start to speak when he should have. A child usually says a few simple words by his or her first birthday. Einstein did not speak until he was between two and three years old. Einstein's sister, Maya, was two years younger than him. In his own words, I have no special talents. I am only passionately curious. But Einstein's parents had no reason to worry. He was smart. He was also very curious. Einstein's lifelong curiosity about science started when he was five. His father gave him a magnetic compass. Einstein played with the compass. When he turned it in different directions, he noticed that the needle always pointed north. Young Einstein did not understand why this happened. He imagined that an invisible force was controlling the needle. For the rest of his life, he remembered that compass and the invisible force. In his time, Einstein grew up in Germany during the 1880s. Back then, many things were different from how they are today. News, people didn't have radios or TVs during the 1880s. Instead, they read newspapers and magazines to get their news. Toys, German craftsmen carved and painted wooden toys. Factories made dolls, mechanical toys, and construction sets. Food, there were no refrigerators. People smoked, cured, and pickled foods that they stored and ate during the winter. Clothing, the sailor suit was one of the most popular styles of clothing for both boys and girls. Transportation, there were railroads, but no cars or planes. Most people walked or used horses to get around. In some cities, there were streetcar systems. Educating Einstein In 1889, Einstein attended school in Munich, Germany. This photo shows him, circled, with his classmates. Einstein started school when he was six. As a boy, he loved to explore. He also liked to think for himself. His family had moved to Munich, Germany. Schools there were strict. Teachers told students what and how to think. Because of this, Einstein didn't like school. But he did love to learn. Einstein borrowed books and taught himself math and science at home. He fell in love with physics. That's the science of energy, matter, and movement. Word to know. Matter, anything that has mass and takes up space. Understanding mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Larger objects tend to have more mass than smaller objects. But smaller objects can have more mass if the particles of matter in them are packed more closely together. A portrait of Einstein at 14 years old. A global citizen. 
Einstein spent most of his life in Central Europe. After he was born, his family moved to Munich, Germany. Then they moved to Milan, Italy. He finished high school in Aarau, Switzerland, and attended university in Zurich, Switzerland. He also lived in Bern, Switzerland, Prague, Czech Republic, which was then part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and Berlin, Germany, before moving to the United States in 1933. When Einstein was 15, his family moved to Milan, Italy. Einstein stayed in Munich to finish school. But soon he left to join his family. Einstein's parents were worried because he had left school. He promised to teach himself at home and go to a university in the fall. Unfortunately, Einstein studied only subjects he liked and ignored everything else. Einstein went to Zurich, Switzerland. He took and failed the university's entrance exam. But the university director was impressed. He told Einstein to attend a nearby high school for a year and reapply. Einstein circled with his graduation class in Aarau, Switzerland. The new school was the perfect place for a budding scientist. Teachers wanted students to think about things in new ways. Also, the school had a great physics laboratory for students to use. At this time, Einstein started to think about problems. He tried to picture the solution in his head. He called these experiences thought experiments. His first thought experiment was about light. He asked himself, what would it be like if you could ride on a beam of light? That's a fact. Einstein's best theories didn't come from working in a laboratory. They were ideas he imagined. In his own words, imagination is more important than knowledge. Einstein finished high school one year later. Then he was accepted into the university. Einstein wanted to learn the latest scientific theories. But the university mostly taught ideas that people had accepted for a long time. Einstein attended the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, also called Zurich Polytechnic. It is the large building on the hill. A photo of Albert Einstein working in the patent office in 1905 at age 26. Einstein struggled to graduate from the university. After he did, it took two years for him to get a steady job. The job was in a patent office. He thought his new job was interesting. It also gave him lots of time to think about science. Word to know. Patent, an official paper that gives people rights to new inventions for a period of time. Miracle year. Three years later, in 1905, Einstein was still working in the patent office. He did thought experiments in his free time. He wrote about his ideas in four papers. He published them in an important German scientific journal called Analender Physik, Annals of Physics. These ideas would change science forever. That same year, Einstein earned his doctoral degree from the University of Zurich. People were amazed by what Einstein had done in such a short period of time. They called 1905 his miracle year. He was only 26 years old. During his miracle year, Einstein lived with his first wife, Maliva. This is the beginning of one of Einstein's papers, published in his miracle year. Academic Publishing Scientists, researchers, and scholars often publish detailed papers about their work. Other people working in their fields read the papers. People can comment on the ideas. Some may even find a way to use the new ideas in their own work. In his own words, the most important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. First paper, light. In his first paper of 1905, Einstein wrote about light. Most people at the time believed that light was a wave of energy. Einstein argued that light was actually a stream of tiny particles. 
Einstein's idea led to a new type of science called quantum physics. People now use the ideas from quantum physics to make things like televisions and computer chips. Word to know. Particle, a very small piece of matter. The home in Bern, Switzerland, where Einstein and Maliva lived during his miracle year. Einstein said particles of light knock other particles out of some metals. Energy moves from one particle to another when this happens. Second paper, atoms. In his second paper of 1905, Einstein made a case for what other scientists had long suspected, atoms end. Molecules are real. Einstein found new evidence for this idea after thinking about how tiny particles move in water. Other scientists had seen this movement through microscopes. However, they could not explain how the particles moved. Einstein imagined that the objects in water were banging against atoms and molecules. He used math to figure out how the objects would move. People tested his idea. The objects moved exactly as he had predicted. Words to know. Atom, a tiny part of a whole piece of matter. Molecule, two or more atoms joined together. Predict, to tell something that will happen in the future. A microscope from the 1920s. Third paper, Time and Space with his third paper of 1905, Einstein changed how people thought about time and space. People had thought that time always moved at the same speed for everyone. They thought that distances people experience must also be the same. Einstein said that was not true. He assumed that no matter how fast someone is moving, the speed of light stays the same. But for everything else, speed changes based on how fast the person watching is moving. Word to know. Space, the distance between two objects.